Sunday, God willing, at 3 o'clock, we will be meeting over at the school in your committee room. At 3 o'clock, God willing, next Sunday. To you that just tuned in, this is the program that gives you pain. Yes. The truth of God again, we're glad to come back and wrestle with you. Wrestle with your pastor, wrestle with your bishop. Yeah. Why you wrestle with your heart? Because when you got a mind to obey God, that's what you're going to wrestle with. This is the message that God purposed to get everybody on the straight path and give everybody an opportunity to straighten out their lives and leave everybody else life alone. <laughs> Once you focus on you, you, you do pretty good. Now to all the saints that's uh, listening the world over, um, our International Youth Conference will be activated back again this year. Someone said, are you going to wait for the virus to go away? No, I'm not. Why? I don't know how long it's going to be here. And the virus is not going to hold us hostage. You will learn how to adapt. You go to the market during the virus. You go to the barbershop during the virus. You wash clothes during the virus. You look at Williams during the virus. <laughs> if you can do these things, <laughs> we're not going to shut down church. We're not going to do it. So, the first weekend of April, April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, is the International Youth Conference. Listen out further for the dates in July for the International Holy Convocation that will take place in July. Now, concerning conventions in Europe and uh, India and Africa, that depends on the laws of that country. That's out of our control. But uh, once we get news, then we will proceed further in the foreign countries. Because before this virus hit, 2020, brother, brother I, I, I was to be in Dubai. I was to be in the Netherlands. I was to be in Holland. I was going to be in the United Arab Emirates. I was going to be in England. It was so many foreign countries where the truth of God followers are. And we was going there billing and billing and billing. We were scheduled to be throughout the South Pacific, not that far from Japan, from the, in the Samoan Islands, Fiji Islands, Crook Islands. We were going to be in the Philippines. But God certainly know how to interrupt things, don't he? Yes. So just like he know how to interrupt things, I want God to lift the virus. Yeah, yes, I want God to lift the virus. Now, even though the vaccine is out, but it's not going to get rid of the virus. The virus is going, if, after everyone who agreed to be vaccinated, the virus still will be in the earth. Returning back every year. And uh, I'm told now in some areas like Europe and Africa, it have uh, a different strand is out. Uh, it doesn't matter how many strands come out, it won't stop man from sinning. It won't, it won't turn everybody to God. But nevertheless, 2020 was an explosive year and 2021 came in with an explosion. <laughs> Amen. All the, you know, in the Bible, you got Hittites, Amorites, Moabites. Here in America, you got Trumpites. <laughs> Amen. 
Now I want you hard head <laughs> stubborn folk to hear the old man. Now the scripture come to mind. Evil men and seducers. Let's work on that, Williams. Mm. How you feeling today? Pray for me, Pastor. I'm praying for you. I want everybody to get this because Amen. you know Paula White is Trump's personal spiritual advisor. So you that don't know who she is, you ain't missing nothing, but she's the false prophetess. Yes. Yes. Was all over social media saying that the Lord said he's sending angels from Africa. Sending angels from South America, angels from Puerto Rico, angels from this. <laughs> and all of these false prophets and prophetess said the Lord told them that Trump will win the election. I'm not for Trump. I'm no more than I'm for Biden. I'm for God. <laughs> but what I am against is false prophecy. And that lie that you fellas have told on God going judge you. It's going to face you in eternity because we only got one God that's doing any truth telling. When God have ever made anybody prophesy, when God does it, it's guaranteed to come to pass just as sure as God is God. Because God declared about himself not one word that he spoke. It doesn't fall to the ground. And then he said it does not return unto him void. But it shall accomplish. To wherever he sent it. And it's going to prosper. So whenever you fellas, men and women. And there was another false prophet this morning. He said he got to repent for saying Trump was not going to win. Well, you was right the first time. <laughs> God ain't the author of confusion. Why are you fellas so confused? That's right. Because you spoke it presumptuously. presumptuously. You brought these things by your own opinion. Right. By your own view. I want to work on seducing spirits. Mm -hmm. Evil men and seducers. And also I want to get the fourth chapter, First Timothy, First if Timothy you will. And also. I want to travel this from <clears throat> Old Testament to New. Mm -hmm. Viewers, do you have a seducer for a bishop? Mm. What is a seducer? A trickster? Yep. A religious Con artist. Someone that make a fool out of you. That's right. You follow them. When you look at all these men and women that went down to the <laughs> uh, Capitol building. Yeah. Willing to fight the police. Five people dead. Because the God of the Trumpites, yes. <laughs> not the God of heaven. Yes. Now, this is what I find interesting. They claim they're Christians. The Republican Party claim they are the party of Christ. Right. One Republican emailed me and said that us conservative Republicans are more in line with Jesus teaching than the Democrats. No, one party is of the devil <laughs> and the other party is of Satan. That's right. I want to say, Pastor Jim, they're the same thing. Now you got it. <laughs> one is of the devil and the other is of Satan. How is it? That a fool that polls as a president can tell you to storm a government building. <laughs> you know, I'm from the hood. And if you're in the game, 
The leader of the gang don't make a declaration that he ain't there. From the hood, man, when the gang go out and we mix it up and rumble, everybody's out. The gang leader's out. He's mixing it up with the other gang leader. But your leader of this people have caused them to error. That's right. And now as a result of so many of you following a fool, now the FBI is after you. That's right. Now remember, if this thing would have came from God, oh. you wouldn't be in jail. That's right. You wouldn't be charged with sedition. That's right. You wouldn't be charged with treason. That's right. You wouldn't be charged with being a terrorist. That's right. Even some of them claimed they were preachers. And many of them were evangelicals. Yeah. Some of them was waving flags with the name of Jesus. Jesus and Trump ain't got nothing in common. <laughs> nothing I said. That's right. How could someone trick you to be such a fool? Now, I'm going to strike this out with Bible. That's right. Because whenever I talk about Trump, oh, man, his... Many of his followers, they be on our, web, our website on the message, blowing it up, calling me everything but a child of God. <laughs> I said, all right, I'm going to get Bible with this. That's right. All right, Williams, are you ready? Amen. All right, come on, let's go to work and cause some pain here. In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, we're at verse 12. Follow me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Now, that don't apply to y'all. No. Y'all, what you did wasn't godly. No. Trespassing is not godly. That's right. Stealing things is not godly. That's right. And you claim you are Christians. <laughs> None of you are Christians. Having a form of godliness. This is what you have. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 5. Fakers, having, fraud. Having a form having of godliness. Having a form of godliness. But denying but the, power deny thereof. the power thereof. According to. There is no law in this country that says, you know, that Congress can just throw somebody out from winning an election because you don't like it. No. And you believe it can be done. That's right. You are suckered. That's right. Now, you have said, you see that, Pastor Jenny, we know whose side you on. I'm on the Lord's side. That's right. And I'm simply speaking against wrong. That's it. You don't like it because you're guilty. That's right. Mm -hmm. Listen at this. But now in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 13. Follow me. But evil men. Evil men. And seducers. Oh, evil men. Evil men. Evil. One thing I say about Trump, as I, me and my wife was talking, I got to admit one thing. Hmm. He has never hide or <laughs> try to hide his true colors. That's right. Even before he got in the White House. That's right. When he was running for election, chaos broke out in every city. Yeah. Just a as a prefix yeah. of what was about to come. That's right. And That's now, right. how can it? Now, don't be surprised, viewers. I'm not saying I'm prophesying. I'm not saying that at all. Right. But don't be surprised when he get out of office. Give it time. Because he's surrounded by evangelical infidels. Right. But don't be surprised yeah. if they encourage him. The start of church. Oh. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you hear Donald Trump Ministries. My Lord. And the religious slogan, Make America Great Again. Yeah. Don't be surprised. surprised. That's right. Because if you try to start a church, now you're on my territory. That's right. Amen. We was in the barber shop talking yesterday, and one barber, Sean, he said, I said, Sean, I'm going to give a shout out to you. He said, I was in a barber chair. He said, Gino, you know what all of them follow Trump got? He can start the church. Donald, <laughs> Donald Trump Ministries. Wow. Everybody had to start laughing. I said, you know what? Because that's something uh, I mentioned to my wife some time ago. Don't be surprised. Yeah. Donald Trump Ministries. Yeah. 
All you got to do is be a fool to join. <laughs> Amen. It'll never save you. We're living in the last days, God knows. No doubt. All right, come on, Williams. Listen at this now. But evil men. Evil men. And seducers. And tricksters. Now, when someone seduces you, they manipulate you. Yeah. Con you. Oh, yeah. How could you blind men and women be so mentally warped? That someone can trick you to invade property of the government. <laughs> That's right. And then come back and turn on you and say, you that commit this violence, <laughs> you shall be punished. <laughs> you that done this, you shall be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He is the one that sent you. That's right. You are loyal to him, but he ain't loyal to you. That's right. Them are the actions of a false prophet. That's right. They are the same way. The That's false right. prophet is not loyal to you. He's loyal to your money. He's loyal to your wallet. But your soul, he don't care about. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? But evil men. Evil men. And seducers. I wouldn't say, well, you shouldn't speak against the authorities. Any, every job, the job of every God sent preacher is speak against all oh. powers of the earth. That's right. That try to rival against God. That's right. And then try to hide behind the name of God to justify themselves. Yeah. Waving Trump flags and waving Jesus flags. Flags. What is that going to prove? What is that? What is that? Nothing. Nothing. Evil men. And seducers. Only an evil man. An evil man. Can get up and con and manipulate a mass crowd of people. Yeah. And then I can't blame it all on him because yeah. it can't be dumb unless done unless you're weak enough to believe it. Talk not much with a fool. What? Talk not much with a fool. And here you got people out there saying, we take him back to government. <laughs> we taking it back. Well, where is it? <laughs> That's right. You must didn't have it long. That's right. What did you do with it? Amen. How can you take back what's not yours? <laughs> Evil. My God, they should have been charging, running Amen. after God. That's right. Pressing a gut against the word of God. That's right. You know, when this happened, it made me think of the 13th chapter of the book of Revelation about the beast. The beast. How his speech would be so influential. Yeah. And how they would worship the beast. That's right. Yeah, the Bible talks about how they, how they uh, Trump was not the beast, but he do got the characteristics of a beast. That's right. And they worship the dragon. They worship the dragon. Which, and, and he is a, a servant of the dragon. Oh, yeah. He's one of the sons of the dragon. That's right. Because he's vicious. That's right. And he's a carnivore. Amen. Because he consumes people's will to do right. And they present wrong and paint it to be right. That's right. And you religious fakers that claim you're serving Jesus, how can you back a tyrant? Hmm. Amen. Five people are dead. Yeah. Because of your leader. That's right. That's right. Five people are dead. Yeah. Been killed out of time now, facing judgment to come. That's right. Because of your leader. Yeah. The Bible said if the blind leave the, the blind, blind, that don't just cover religion, that That's cover right. everything. That's right. Both shall fall. If the blind the leads blind. the blind. Both shall fall into Both. the ditch. Both. That's the teaching of Christ. Both. Both shall fall into Glory the ditch. Take God. Hallelujah. Shall fall into the, ditch. into the ditch. Meaning both will be lost. That's right. That's right. Amen. Now let me get raw. Hmm. I want to say you're already raw. All right. Well, if it's a word, let me get rawer. <laughs> Glory to God. 
That's right, Jeezy. Let, let me get rawer. <laughs> Someone say, you ruined that word. That's all right, but you got what That's I'm saying. Right. That's all right. If that was a mass crowd of all people of color. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. If any of us would have managed to scale the wall. Oh, my Lord. We would have been falling off like roaches. That's right. Gunshots. That's right. Trump would have been on there, kill them all. Yeah, that's right. That's raw truth. That's right. Where were the National Guard? Yeah. When they had all these protests in the summer, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. The National Guard was already there to welcome them when they arrived. Amen. Amen. They was already there on the steps. Yeah. Welcoming them when they was arrived. Oh, yeah. But this time you had some policemen taking selfies with rivals. That's right. This is a wicked nation. A wicked nation. Evil. A nation that professed that they know God, but Paul said in works, they deny, they him. deny him. They deny him. That's right. So when they hear us preach like this, they say, oh, you ain't nothing but an undercover Democrat. No, I'm an open holiness preacher. That's right. I'm an open holiness preacher. That's right. And you so-called Christians evangelicals who was all mixed in the midst of that thousand, talking about you are doing the will of God. God will have never failed. No, never. If this was the will of God, then God's people would have won. That's right. Why? God would have backed them. That's right. God would have overturned everything. That's right. That's right. Failure is not God. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Wait a minute. Amen. Do you hear this? In the book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. So shall my word. My word. Glory to God be that come out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. What? It shall not return unto me void. What are you going to do, William? But it shall accomplish. What happened? That which I please. All these flags with the name Jesus on it. What happened? W what happened? Ain't nothing wrong with the name. <laughs> That's right. <Huh? laughs> That's right. That's Power right. in the name. That's right. But you waving it. What they got to do with it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a bunch of people of color. They would have been shot, bodies oh, yeah. laying everywhere. That's true. That's true. We wouldn't even made it to the door. <laughs> <laughs> huh? No way. What did Trump do just to clear out a certain area last year? Got the National Guard, cleared people out, tear gas, bats and everything just to stand in front of a church. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Evil men and, and subducers subducers shall wax worse and worse. The Bible says they're not going to get no better. Shall but wax I, worse. I want you to listen who's going to be deceived. Give chapter and verse again. 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 13. What is it? But evil men, evil men and seducers and tricksters shall wax worse. Shall get worse. And worse. And worse. Deceiving. They're going to be deceiving folk and. And being deceived. And they themselves going to be a victim of deception. That's right. That's right. Not only are they going to deceive others and being but deceived, they themselves will be tricked also. I marvel. What was that? A 16 year old young lady got killed? 30 something? Mm. Young girl got shot? Yeah. Young girls out there on the front line think they're doing God's will. That's right. Because they believed they believe a someone it. with a seducing spirit. Seducing spirit. Yeah. Fathers taking their little sons with a sense of pride. True. That's true. Because someone with a seducing, seducing spirit has spoken. This is why it is important to be sound. That's right. That's right. If 
You are the people of God. You must know when God speaks yeah. versus when man speaks. Amen. I want all of you watching to get this because it goes for your preacher. Yeah. I don't care if he calls himself a pastor, a possum, a rabbit, a bishop, whatever he calls himself. Whatever. When they can't, when they tell you the Lord said this mm -hmm. and the Lord said that mm -hmm. and the Lord said the other. And yet they cannot verify, certify, justify. Yeah. The speech of God from God's word. And if thou say in thine heart. Hear this. In the book hear of, this. Hear this now. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verse 21. Don't let the preacher get away and say, well, Bishop, this one said that. That don't mean nothing. No. What did the Bible say? Deuteronomy 18. Apostle so-and-so said this one. Is it in here? That's it. No, I don't want it then. That's right. My job is to preach what's written in the scriptures until Paul said, be instant in season and out of season. That's right. The church, our job is to go to what's written for all of our belief. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Glory to God. Amen. For everything we believe. Hallelujah. Everything, Amen. blessed be God, that we believe. Yeah. We have to go to scriptures. That's right. Not only for what we preach, yeah. but for what we do. That's right. We have to investigate our doing. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it look wrong or strange in the eyes of someone else that never seen it. Yeah. The only thing that make it wrong is not if Pastor Jennings feels as though it's wrong. Yeah. The only thing that make it wrong is when God determined it to be wrong. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Deuteronomy 18 and verse 21. Follow me and get me. And if thou say in thine heart. You say in thine heart. How shall we know the word which the Lord. How shall we know the word. Which the Lord hath not which spoken. Which the Lord did not say. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. And what? If the thing follow not. If the thing don't happen. Nor come to pass. What? That is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. All of you that said that he's supposed to be the president. And Biden lost because the Lord says, because angels supposed to come from Africa to help them. Angels supposed to come from Europe to help them. Uh, 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 angels, angels from the Bahamas, Bohemian angels for the, supposed to come. That's right. Uh, Asian angels for the, supposed to come. Yeah. What happened? What happened? That's right. You know, this is serious business because yep. this is a worldwide act of religious blaspheme. That's right. And members of these evangelical fakers yeah. have fell victim to it because yeah. this is what the danger is when you're not taught scripture. Yeah. When you're not taught scripture, you cannot rise to the occasion of knowing. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's right. When you're not taught scripture, you cannot rise to the occasion of knowing. So therefore, you become a follower of foolishness and not an investigator. That's right. Wonderful. I'm a religious investigator. That's right. I want to know, is this thing from God? Amen. I don't care if you get in the spirit and shake and... Thus saith the Lord. <laughs> the Lord said. <laughs> I'm going to look at you. <laughs> what did God say? <laughs> Glory to God. I want to know yeah. from here. What did he say? What did he say? You see, a lot of you go through these churches that got these false prophets. They're very dramatic, like Kenneth Copeland. Mm. You know, they had this thing that was going all around America called laughing in the spirit. That's right. Do you remember this? That's right. Some of you never heard it. These were mega churches. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten thousand 10,000 people all falling out on the floor, all laying on the chairs, supposed to be laughing nonstop, nonstop. for hours, supposed to be under the inspiration of God yeah. laughing. Amen. All on the floor, tomorrow you're laughing in the spirit. No. No. You're dysfunctional. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I don't need the Holy Ghost to laugh. No. No, no. When you don't know scripture. Yeah. 
There's a blame game that's played. Yeah. You blame events and things on God. God. Then you make God appear to be like a man, a fool. That's right. And God is not the author of confusion. Of confusion. If all these prophets and prophetesses who say they represent God yeah. all got the same prophecy, yeah. all got the same voice, yeah. and yet none of it come to pass. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord. Do you hear this? Now in Deuteronomy 18 and verse 22. When a prophet speak in the Lord's name. If the thing follow not. If the thing don't happen. Nor come to pass. Nor come to pass. That is the thing which the Lord has not spoken. That is the thing the Lord did not say. But the prophet had spoken presumptuously. See, God is not the author of confusion. No. And this is why I said before and I say again. All of you that put that lie out that Trump was going to win. Yeah. You got to come back and repent. That's right. You did it openly. You got to repent openly okay. or go to hell for your blaspheme. That's right. All of you church goers that went to these churches and you supported the lie, you got to repent. Yeah. Because you took pleasure in the fake prophecy that took place. That's right. Not only he that do the wrong, but he that have pleasure in them that do it. That do it. That's right. Evil men. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Give chapter and verse again. I want to take my time and soak it. Back in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 13. Evil men. And seducers. And seducers. Shall wax worse and worse. Shall wax worse. And worse. Don't expect things to get better. No. No. The madness that's here in America. Mm -hmm. And America would always brag to other countries how religious they are. We are the, we, we have a standard of godliness. Yeah. Viewers that are watching around the world, America is a sick country. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. a hypocritical nation. It's a hypocritical nation. It's a hypocritical nation. In the book of Isaiah chapter 10 and at verse 6. Let's get Bible for it, William. Isaiah chapter 10 and at verse 6. All right. I will send him. Glory to God. I will send him. Against an hypocritical nation. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I will send him. I will send. Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 10 and at verse 6. I will send him. Against. Against. An hypocritical against. nation. You know, when God sent a man, he don't send that man to run hand in hand with that hypocritical nation. No, no. And now, in order for you to know that God is against that nation, yeah. God sent men to speak against the conduct of that nation, the laws of that nation, right. the beliefs of that nation, the religion That's of right. that nation, when all these things contradict God. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God sent a man. I will send him. Send men against an hypocritical Lord nation. Take God against a nation of fakers and against the people of my wrath. What? And against the people of my wrath. Lord, take God against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge? Will I go? Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Will I give him a charge to take the spoil? Take the spoil. And to take the prey. Take the prey. And to tread them down like the mire of the streets. Run them over. R run them over. <laughs> That's right. Take the word of God and run them over. Tread them down like the mire of the streets. Come on, you Trumpites. Wake up. That's right. You evangelicals that have misrepresented God. A true witness. You've got Sinners all over social media mocking you. Fools make Black. a mock at sin. What, 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 what is that? Now in the book of Proverbs 14 and verse 9. What is it? Fools make a mock at sin. And that's what they're doing. Amen. That's right. They're walking around, no make, repentance, make, make walking around saying God said this and their conscience is not moved. That's right. You lie. That's right. All of you men and women that said the Lord said when the Lord said when. nothing, you lie. Amen. Now, if there's any honesty in you, it will convict your heart. <laughs> yes, it will. If. if but your is. heart is like ice. That's right. When it's 50 below zero. That's right. Don't you expect a drip to take place from that icicle? <laughs> That's right. Eh? Fools make a mock at Fools. sin. Fools make a mockery at sin. But among the righteous. But among them that are right. There is favor. 
Amen. As what? There is favor. We look at sin for what it is. That's right. I mean, yeah. even if we're guilty of it. That's right. Amen. Because if we didn't look at sin for what it is, yeah. you won't find us running to repentance. No. Huh? No, no. What make a person run to repentance? Scared of hell. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Amen. What knock out that pride and stubbornness? Scared of hell. <laughs> That's right. What make you not repent? Your arrogance. Amen. You know, pride is the downfall of a person. That's right. All right. Now in Proverbs 14 and verse 25. Yes. A true witness. Uh-oh. Amen. You know, I love how the, the scriptures just reign. <laughs> That's right. A true witness. Witness. Delivereth souls. Yeah. Amen. A That's what the truth of God is over the air for yeah. viewers. That's right. Truth of God. Is a true witness. True witness. For what reason? Delivereth soul. To deliver your soul. But a deceitful witness. But a trickster. Speaketh. A deceiver. But a deceitful witness. Yes. Speaketh lies. Amen. Amen. Deceitful. All of you that it is plain. Oh, yes. All of you that was told that Trump was going to win by false prophets and prophetess. Yes. What are they? A deceitful witness. Speak what? Speaketh lies. Deceitful witness. Because if God said Trump was going to win, Amen. ain't no need to storm the building. That's right. No. All that ain't even needed. No. God, God, you got to make it happen. <laughs> That's right. See, God ain't got to force nothing to happen. That's right. God wants something. He makes it happen. That's right. That's right. Hmm? Amen. All right, let's go back to the book of Timothy now. Let's back in 2 Timothy Second chapter Timothy. 3 and verse 12. I want to take my time and soak you a little. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Yes. But evil men. Evil men. And seducers. And tricksters. Shall wax worse and worse. How bad they going to get, William? Deceiving. Deceiving. And being deceived. You better hear this message, viewers. That's right. This is hallelujah. Glory to God. This is hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. God, this is 2021. Yes. And you haven't waked up yet, many of you. Never trust thine enemy. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 oh, and verse 10. It's so good to have Robin back. <laughs> That's, 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 not, that's not taking nothing from you, Moretti. No, That's no. not taking nothing from you. No. Hey, Amen, but I'm glad to have my sidekick back. <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> Listen at this. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12 and verse 10. Book of Ecclesiasticus or the book of Servage. Chapter, chapter 12, 12 and verse 10. Verse. Begin at verse 9, will you? At verse 9. Listen. In the prosperity of a man. In the prosperity of a man. Enemies will be grieved. Enemies will be what? Will be grieved. Will be grieved. What makes them grieve? Jealousy. Yeah. Uh -huh. But in his adversity and his problems, even a friend will depart. Yes. Never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. Now, <laughs> wait a minute. Now, come on, William. Never Let trust us thine not enemy. Play around with the book. That's right. You can trust him a little bit. Never trust thine enemy. Once in a while. Never trust thine enemy. At least every Sunday. Never trust thine enemy. Never. Glory to God. That's right. The Holy Ghost said, never trust thine enemy. Never trust thine enemy. Thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth. Like iron rusteth. So is his wickedness. <laughs> Amen. Now. Amen. Why is the rust of an iron mm -hmm. compared to the wickedness of your enemy? Yes. The rust of the iron shows. That's it right. takes away the beauty yeah. of That's the right. iron. That's yeah. right. And the rust of the iron shows that, well, it's starting to corrode. That's it. It's starting it. to deteriorate. Yeah. Something is eating at it. <laughs> That's right. And what's ever affecting the iron is changing the uh, beauty of the iron. That's right. So your enemy That's right. changed. Yeah. But you didn't know it was your enemy at first because they was beautiful, like iron. Yes. But that feeling that's in him and in her. Yeah. Come to surface. That's right. It's on the inside. That's right. But it begin to show outwardly like rust. That's right. And it alters the beauty of that so-called brother or that so-called sister. And then you see him or her for what they really are. That's right. You Trumpites. Go ahead, man. You evangelical frauds. Amen. If this don't make you see 
what this rusty Rust. president <laughs> is. That's right. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Amen. If you can't see what this rusty president is Amen. By, now, by now, you ought to go to hell. That's right. That's right. So don't be surprised once he gets out of office. Don't be surprised. Amen. I'm not making a prophecy, but don't marvel not. Marvel not. If you hear of Donald Trump mm -hmm. ministries. My Lord. We are blasted to hell. That's right. Oh, yes, we are blasted to hell. That's right. Listen. Never trust thine enemy. Don't trust your enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so like is his iron wickedness. Rust, so is what? His wickedness. So is what? His wickedness. Yeah. Now, now the rust is compared to his wickedness. Right. What do rust and wickedness have in common? Spreading. That's right. Eh? That's right. Because that rust that farmers on the iron, if it go untreated, it starts spreading. Yeah. It starts going and then until the whole rail look horrible. <laughs> That's right. Yes. That's right. God, man, what happened here in America was just horrible. Yeah. That rust just that rust. spread it, oh, spread yeah. it, spread it, That's right. spread it. Like as iron rusted. Like iron rust. So is his wickedness. So is his wickedness. Though he humble himself. Though he humble himself. And go crouching. And yet go crouching. Yet take good heed and beware of him. Amen. He humble himself. And go crouching. Go crouching meaning it's, a form, it's, it's an image to make it look like he submitted. That's right. Someone said, what that got to do with Trump? Let, I'm about to show you. Yet take good heed. And beware of him. That's what Trump did. Yes, he did. He got up there and, uh, you know, he, in, in a hypocritical way, criticized his followers for the violence. Yeah. And then, you know, said that uh, Biden is going to be inaugurated and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah. But crouching, crouching. Appeared to be humble. That's right. Just to get the media and critics off his back. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, another mm -hmm. scripture addressed the church and said it this way. Mm -hmm. Having a form. Yes. Of, of godliness. Godliness. But denying the power thereof. But deny the reality of it. How should we deal with folks like that? From such, turn away. No, hang with them. Turn away. Run with them. Turn away. Eat with them. Turn away. Yeah. Turn away. You saw the Bible itemize all this? That's right. Who will take God, but did the Holy Ghost have? Having a form of godliness. Having a form of godliness. But denying the power there. All right, let's go back to where we were. I got so much to build so on. So much. Here. We were back Come in, on, the, in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, now at verse 11. Yes. Though he humble himself and go crouching. Though he humble himself and go crouching. Yet take good heed and beware of him. Pay attention. That's in other it, words, right. don't let the humble appearance. Yeah. Take the, good the, heed. The, 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 the soft, timid, sound speech. That's right. That's right. Uh, I'm, I, God really worked it today. <laughs> That's right. Oh, God, God really done. I'm, I'm, I'm so beside myself. Oh, what would I do? Yeah. All that passive hypocrisy. That's right. Because even the devil know it's going to sucker somebody. Yes, it will. It's going to trick somebody. Oh, yeah. You see, a lot of you folk think standing up for God, you've got this little passive, weak, watered down, timid voice. And someone preach with ballet shoes on. <laughs> That's right. That's why they say I preach. They say that Jennings, he preached like he's mad with everybody. <laughs> he ain't never happy. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Lord God, I feel good right now. I'm so good. <laughs> That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. That's right. If you've been used to sugar, yeah. it is hard for you to adjust oh, yeah. to good, wholesome food. Yeah. If all you've been getting is cotton candy and bubble gum and all of that stuff, and now you got to eat some good collard greens, turnip greens, and good chicken. You know, I often make the parable where you take a child, that mother give it, I'm going to start feeding it from the jar. And give it that fruit, 
Mm -hmm. Man, that child love it. Yeah. But I always love to see a baby face <laughs> when it had its first exposure. Yeah. The green vegetables. Yeah. Man, you see something. Me and my wife got seven kids. We done lived through it constantly. <laughs> <laughs> they look like the spirit came on. <laughs> My oldest daughter was a baby, and he, my, my wife would get that fruit cup and whatnot and give her the fruit and whatnot. I was like, Daddy, what are you going to give her the vegetables? She said, oh, I am. <laughs> and I remember, I think the first jar was green peas. Mm. <laughs> green peas. Amen. Amen. And uh, Daddy put a little bit on the spoon. First, she gave her the fruit, a little bit of the fruit cup first, setting her up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, Britt was so happy, eyes looking around, kicking. <laughs> Dottie got those green peas. And put that in Brittany's mouth. Brittany looked and just said, <laughs> eh? As a child, she knew. <laughs> it, 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 to her, it was like the presence of evil. <laughs> so what mothers got to do? They mix it yeah. with the fruit cup. Yeah. They get it in them. That's Viewers, right. these men today are sent to you from the devil. That's right. For one purpose, rob you of your opportunity to go back with God. That's right. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. If the preacher you have is truly of God, you should never have to find yourself Fighting with him to believe something that's in the scripture. That's right. Huh? That's right. Anytime you got to fight with a man about something in the scripture yeah. that we got to do. Yes. Right then, that's a sign he's a false prophet. That's right. I want to say, well, how can you say that, Pastor Jenner? Jesus said, my sheep. Yes. Will hear. Hold it. He didn't say right away my sheep will understand. No. He didn't say that. No. He said my sheep will hear my, my voice. My he didn't say you will understand at first. No. Because you got to hear it before you can consider it. That's right. He wants you to hear it first, then consider what it said. Then he said, I give you the understanding in all things. In all things. You see how God have it. That's right. So you that got to argue with bishops and fake apostles, you got to argue with Ernie and Bert and Big Bird and Oscar in that garbage can that he called a chat. That's right. That's right. About something in the Bible. Amen. And you say God sends you. Amen. We as ministers of God must say amen, amen. to whatever God says. That's right. We can't back off of it because we ain't up to it. No. That's our problem. That's right. We just got to come up to it because to God it. said it. That's it. That's it. That's right. When God, listen, God don't make me preach something because I'm up to it. No, no. That's true. That's true. Did you, you didn't know that? <laughs> That's right. God said to the apostle, preach the word. Preach the word. He didn't say, wait till you're up to it, then preach it. No, preach the word. Someone said, you mean to tell me men in the Bible preach things and it wasn't up to it? Paul preached the word of God by God's permission and then said, oh, wretched man that I am. That I am. Who That's shall right. be able to deliver me from this body of death? God don't care you ain't up to it. He said, preach it. Preach, and preach if you try to draw back, the spirit of God will come over you and force you to preach it. That's right. That's right. Holy men of God spake as, as there was what? Moved. There was what? Moved. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why a man got to have the Holy Ghost oh, yes. because his flesh might make him draw back. Oh, and the Holy Ghost say, oh, no. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Father, deviate that subject because he's condemned. Yeah. But the Holy Ghost in him will Push that yeah. word of God out. That's right. Guess got to come. Hallelujah. That's Guess right. Got to come out. That's right. 
That's how the will of God works. That's right. Holy men of God speak that they were moved by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Why? Because the Holy Ghost may want to lay him out. Yeah. Holy Ghost, I'll go right to a scripture and slap him right in the face. That's right. Remember that commercial that talked about heartburn and say if your food attack you, that food be smacking you? That's the way the word of God is. That's right. That word of God smacks the preacher. Amen. Any preacher get up and act like he's so far up there with God and say, well, ain't nothing in the Bible bother me. He's a child a of child. hell. Amen. Amen. That's right. What did he say? Back in Ecclesiastes 12, still at verse 11. Real quick. Though he humbled himself and go crouching. Yes. Yet take good heed and beware of him. Beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. Yeah. And thou shalt know that his rust has not been altogether wiped away. All right, let's go back to where we were. Give me the fire. Get one more. I got come one on, more come script, on, Wes. My God, he's on a reading the, spree. Come the book on. of Ecclesiastes <laughs> chapter 12. Uh -huh. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12. He's trying to make up 12. for lost time. He's been away for about a month and he's trying to catch up. Come on. <laughs> in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Follow me in your Bible. Give chapter and verse again. In Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 16. That's what? An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. An enemy. Enemy. Sounds good. Speaketh sweetly with his lips. Yes. But in his heart. In his heart. He imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Wow. Wow. Amen. Is that the truth? Amen. Amen. You, 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 you Trumpites. That's right. Uh, you, you, he, 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 he got up there and just tell you to fight, 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 fight. Yes, he did. Told you you ought to go down there and storm the Capitol. <laughs> That's right. Amen. And you like a fool went. For a while he will abide with thee. For a while. Amen. For a while, for a he, while. He, he abided with you for a while. He was up at the podium. You was out there talking all that talk. That's for right. a while. For a while, he will abide with thee. Then what? But if thou begin to fall. If you begin to fall. He will not tarry. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I told you it's all Bible all here. All Bible. That's right. Give chapter and verse, William. In the book of, in the book of Ecclesiastes <laughs> chapter 12. Oh, this is so beautifully outlined. Amen. Uh -huh. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 15. So Trump had to rally and talking all that talk. Go fight. Go fight. Go <laughs> fight. Go fight. Go fight. <laughs> go fight. Just, just twist again. Just turn. Twist go fight. Take back the government. Take it back. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What happened? For a while he will abide with thee. For a thee. while. Amen. He hung with you. But if thou begin to fall. And believe me, they start falling. He will not tarry. You couldn't find him. That's right. That's right. Sent you out there on the front line. <laughs> Amen. And the FBI is hunting you down yeah. like Amen. bloodhounds. That's right. What did you gain? Amen. Nothing but embarrassment. Yeah. For following a fool. That's right. That's the danger Amen. for following a fool. Fool. Amen. Whether he's a religious fool or a political fool. That's right. That's right. Fourth chapter, First Timothy, if you will. Now in the book of First Timothy, chapter four, and at verse one. All right, son. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Ah, glory be to God of Moses. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. The Holy Ghost talks. That in the latter times. In the last days. Some shall depart from the faith. Some will leave the faith. Depart. From the belief of God. What are they going to do? Giving heed to seducing spirits. Seducers. Amen. Tricksters. Yeah. Con artists. That's right. And. And doctrines of devils. There's a doctrine that comes with tricking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. The devil doctrine is just lies. That's right. Well, a person can have a doctrine in the political arena. Yeah. From the devil. From, that's right. And then try to integrate it with scripture. That's right. This is what so many out here are doing now. Yeah. And America's not going to get no better. Viewers, viewers, viewers. Uh, you better go back to the scripture about a hypocritical nation. I got to finish that up. That then out. we go back to Timothy, why it comes to mind. So Amen. much coming to my mind. And uh, I have to gather the fragments that nothing be lost. That's right. America is a hypocritical nation. Mm -hmm. And here you are, viewers. Here you are. <laughs> I want to say, Pastor Jennings, would you say if any of them was in first church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and would have ran in there, they would have went to jail. Yes. Oh, yeah. In fact, I, 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 you should call me so I can cuff them. <laughs> no, that's right. I cuff you. Cuff them. That's right. 
grab you by the seat of your pants and throw you in a paddy wagon myself. Amen. The Bible says the law is made Me. for the lawless. Knowing this. Listen at this. Now in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 9. Knowing this. That the law is not made for a righteous man. Law ain't made for them that do right. But for the lawless. But for them that's lawless. And disobedient. It was just a lawless, my lawless. God, and rowdy and like <laughs> mad animals. That's true. That's right. Mad animals. That's right. That's right. It's a disgrace. It's yes, it sad. Is. Yes, it is. I pray for the families that lost loved ones. Yeah. And I pray that you turn to God and hear the word of God and repent of your sins. That's it. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That's why the truth of God is just so outstanding because we deal with all the subjects. Yeah. Because the world and the manifestation of the world mm. is right in that book. That's right. We can go to the book That's and right. find the deeds of humanity. That's right. All right, let's see what kind of nation this is, Williams. Back in Isaiah chapter 10 and at verse 6. What is it? I will send him against an hypocritical nation. A hypocritical nation. And against the people of my wrath. And you know what? We're against America. Against, that's right. We're not against everything America do. We're just against what America does. That's against God. Amen. And then you got the nerve to try to do it and say the Lord is pleased. How in the... Let me show you how this seducing spirit in Trump was so strong. Mm. You can go back in the archives yeah. of every election in America. You won't find no period mm. where a bunch of so-called preachers, churches, Church, right. fell under a prophecy spell. That's right. About no man, right. whether he's Democrat or Republican, to get in the White House. That's right. Never in the history of America yeah. have a mass crowd yeah. of so-called Christians yeah. got under a spell oh, yeah. to put a man in the White House. That's right. And so willing to lie to say, God said it. Amen. It had never happened in America. No. Why did God let this happen? Yeah. To manifest the darkness that posed as light. That's right. Because God warned us about false prophets that come in my name. Yeah. You better give me the 23rd chapter of the book of Jeremiah yeah, and say, yeah. I have dream. That's right. I have dream. And here, God ain't told you nothing. That's right. So God allowed these men and women to prophesy by the moving of hell. Amen. Amen. And then allow it not to come to pass. That's right. To manifest their hypocrisy. Jeremiah chapter 23. Huh? Listen at this. Jeremiah 23 and verse 25. All right. I have heard what the prophet said. Oh, I've heard what the prophet said. That prophesied lies in my name. And did it how? In my name. And you can hear him all over social media. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord said yes, that one did. false prophet. I was listening to it briefly this morning until I had to laugh. To me, it was a comedy hour. <laughs> He said this big light came in back of his head. My Lord, my Lord. Probably was the police about to pull him over. <laughs> big light came in the back of his head. My Lord. Then he said it, he felt though, it felt like it was a scene from Batman. What? <laughs> Why don't you just stop being a joker? <laughs> That's right. That's right. They come with the most dramatic folly. Yes, they will. Just like Ahab. That's right. That's what Ahab did. That's right. He got all them 400 liars, and uh, they tell Ahab, go on up and prosper. Up the and Lord prosper. give it to you. Go yeah. on up and prosper. Amen. Ahab was lustful to one of some territory called Ramoth Gilead, That's right. and he got all these false prophets together to, in, to impress Jehoshaphat. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets. Notice to, this in the book of Kings real quick, and then I want to go right back to where we were. Back in 1 Kings 22 at verse 6. Yes. Then the king of Israel gathered the prophets together. And what? About 400 men. About 400 liars. And said unto them, shall I go against Ramoth? Shall I go up against Ramoth Gilead? To battle or shall I forbear? And what happened? And they said, go up, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. How many was it? 400. 400 men. 
All million. in America, never in the history of this country yeah. have anybody ran for office <laughs> and then the spirit of that devil yes. swept through America and all these evangelical fakers, Pentecostal fakers, yeah. some Baptist fakers, some apostolic fakers yeah. was anointed by Satan. That's right. I have heard what the prophet said. Was anointed by Satan. Amen. And they all said with one voice. Yeah. Trump will win. Trump will win. Just like Ahab liar said. That's right. Go up and prosper. Go up. Because the, the Lord. Shall deliver it into the hand of the king. But there was somebody that had a rep. <laughs> That's right. In the kingdom. That's right. His name was Micaiah. And, and Jehoshaphat and said. And Jehoshaphat heard all them fellas yelling, said to Ahab, what? Is there not here a prophet of the Lord now, besides? Now, wait a minute. If all them fellas was of God, yeah. he wouldn't have asked that. No, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have asked that. Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides? What? That we might inquire of him. And what did Ahab say? And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat. There is yet one man. Well, that lets you know Ahab knew the Lord wasn't in those 400. That's right. If, if, he, if he was, why didn't he just turn around and say, well, look, we got 400 Lord's yeah. men right 400. here. Yeah. We got 400 of the Lord's men right here. That's right. But Jehoshaphat inquired of a man of mm -hmm. God. There is yet one man. We only found one man, Micaiah, the son of Embla. By whom we may inquire of the Lord. How did Ahab feel about him? But I hate him. Why? For he doeth not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. That's where you feel about the truth of God. You hate it. That's right. Because we tell you the truth about what's going on in this wicked, hypocritical nation. That's right. Amen. Never in the history of And I want you to think of this, viewers. Yeah. Think of this. You don't believe me? Go back to the archives. Go Google. Google it. <laughs> That's right. Look at when Kennedy ran. Yeah. Look at uh, when Barack ran. That's right. Look at when Roosevelt ran. Yeah. Hoover, Lincoln, N Nixon. That's right. Carter, the peanut president. <laughs> Amen. Never Amen. in America history. Where all of these so-called so Christian leaders yeah. had this spell come over them yeah. that a particular politician, whether Democrat or Republican, yeah. saying with one voice, that's right. the Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said yeah. that's what I want you to pay attention to. That's it. With one voice, countless of religious leaders yeah. that claim to be Christians. Yeah. Said with one voice, mm -hmm. Trump was going to win. That's right. And not one of them that said it yes. was a man of God. That's right. Not one of them that said it yeah. was a woman of God. That's right. They were equal to those false prophets yeah. among the 400, 400 in the days of Ahab. That's right. Take note of that. That's right. They said what Ahab wanted to hear. And they said, go up, for the Lord All shall deliver. All these religious leaders said mm -hmm. what Trump wanted to hear. That's right. Until a group of them got together and Trump was sitting in the chair and they all lay hands on him. My Lord, my Lord. Satan had his hand on him. Lucifer had his hand on him. Right. Abaddon had his hand on him. Balzabub had yeah. his hand on him. That's right. That's right. Thank viewers. Yeah. First time in history yeah. in America that you saw Satan, mm. who's called the Prince of the Air. Yeah. Why is he called Prince of the Air? Because the air go in various directions, That's right. like spirit. Yeah. And he got them all together. All together. All together. In America. And even out of America. My Lord. The devil wanted to move on them to put up his man. That's right. And That's it right. wasn't God's will. No. And God let this happen. No, no. That showed the religious community a lesson. Yeah. That if God don't say it. That's 
right. It ain't going to happen. That's right. That's right. God will this to happen. Yeah. To show you. Amen. I don't care how great a man or woman think they are That's and right. how large their following is. Who is he that saith? Oh, oh. This sounds like the book of Lamentations. In the book of Lamentations, chapter 3 and verse 37. Who is that? Who is he that saith? Who is that God that saith? And it cometh to pass. And it happens. When the Lord commandeth it when not. When the Lord didn't command it. Amen. Amen. When the voting was being counting, Paula White was walking around saying, oh, the Lord going to overturn it. We command it. We command it. My Lord. We command it for the Lord to overturn it. We command it. We command it. My Lord. What do you think God is? That's right. Go ahead, brother. A toy. Go ahead. God is not mocked. No. And God is not pleased with America and the rest of the world. That's right. You have turned your back on God. Yeah. You have served other gods. Yeah. You love money more than God. That's right. You have let politicians take the place of God. That's right. You are more loyal to Trump than you are to scripture. Amen. Amen. We are loyal to God. That's right. And our loyalty brings, hallelujah, about a commitment according to the scripture. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Let's itemize this. What did he say? Who is he that saith and it cometh to pass? Come to pass? When the Lord commandeth it not. All right, let's go back to 1 Timothy chapter 4 quickly. Back in 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 1. God willing, we are almost out your way. This is a good message. I hope you can get this. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. I want everybody that are watching and listening and you that are mad and got your thumbs down, feet down, <laughs> head down, nose down, everything down. Down. Amen. Just down. That's right. That's right. God will this. My Lord. Because all down through the Bible, mm -hmm. God show us, warns us That's right. what happens That's right. when he don't speak. Yes. And man speak. That's right. And some of y'all that are watching never experienced it. No. So God allowed it to happen on a global scale. That's true. To manifest his will. That's right. So even the sinner can look at fake Christians and say, y'all are liars. That's right. You are a liar. Amen. Amen. And it makes the sinner tell the truth. God don't lie. God don't lie. He got a bottle of liquor in his hand. <laughs> That's true. God don't lie. That's right. He's smoking. That's right. I don't know about y'all, but God don't lie, man. Amen. Even the sinner got to say, Amen. Yeah. God willed it. Amen. Bear this in mind. Never in the history of America have this That's took something. place. That's something. Where preachers and fake religious leaders on a broad scale band together by the spirit of the devil and said the Lord said so. Lord said so. I'm glad it happened. Yes. Because it reinforced the reality of God. That's right. All right, come on, son. Back in 1 Timothy See, chapter 4 and verse 1. thought of it this way. No. Amen. But I, 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 the Bible says what some of the things are written for time is written for our learning. For learning. All right. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. That Thanks in the Lord. latter time some shall depart yeah, from the faith. in the last time some shall leave the, the belief of God. Giving heed to seducing spirits. They will be tricked by the power of the devil. They will give heed to it. They will give themselves over to it. And, and doctrines and of the devils. the teachings of the devil. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Speaking lies and faking. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. And it won't phase them. That's right. And forbidding to marry. Forbidding to marry and, and Manning. To abstain from meat, yes, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving uh -huh. of them which believe and know the truth. What is it? For every creature of God is good and nothing all to right, be refused. All right, all right. No, I, 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 that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Let's go back. The evil men that subduce us show wax worse and worse. Back in Second Timothy chapter three and Amen. verse. God willing, we will be out your way in a few. I, I, this is so on point. Yes. 
Amen. Mm -hmm. Somebody I remember commenting and said, when I, when I turn this on, when I watch your program, I, I watch the, uh, the, the hear the word preach. I don't want to hear Trump. Okay, throw the Bible away then. That's right. What do you mean throw the Bible away? When I talk about Trump, I'm doing like the prophets and the like apostles. the prophets, that's right. What do you mean? Paul talked about King Agrippa. Yeah. Jesus talked about Caesar. That's right. The Bible talked about Manasseh. Yeah. The Bible talked about Josiah. Yes. The Bible talked about Nebuchadnezzar. That's right. That's right. So we take God. I'm in line yeah. with God's word. That's right. You just don't like it. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. You just don't like it. I don't like it. Um. Why don't you talk about Biden? It ain't time yet. I get to him. <laughs> That's right. Where they God, I'm, I'm just waiting for him to get there. <laughs> huh? I'm just waiting. Go ahead, brother. I'm waiting for him to get there. I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican or a rooster party. When it comes to the word of God, we don't care who you are. That's right. The true church from the Lord Jesus Christ revolve about, around God. Amen. Eh? Amen. God is the center of the church. Yeah. God is the center of his people. Yeah. And as he's stationary, our lives must rotate around him. That's right. When that happens, we don't take sides with nobody. Yeah. But God. Oh, yes. Until the prophet Moses said, You that is on the Lord's side, oh, come unto me. Lord, take God, come to me. That's it. What did he say, son? Back in 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 13. All right. But evil men and seducers. What kind? Evil men and seducers. Evil. Evil. And tricks. That's a bad combination. Yes, it for is. For you to be evil and a seducer. And seducers. Yeah. That lets you know alone, you really got to have the spirit of the devil because that's an evil spirit. That's right. And the devil's more subtle than, and than anything out there. That's right. Evil men and seducers shall, shall wax worse and worse. They're not going to get no better, viewers. They're going to be worse and worse. Deceiving. They're going to trick you. And being deceived. We have seen a great manifestation of this. Amen. Right here in America. Right here in America. That's true. Usually we see this in foreign countries. That's right. That's right. You saw it in Germany. Yeah. In the 1930s and 40s with Hitler. Oh, yeah. You saw it in Italy. Yeah. In the 1930s and 40s with Mussolini. That's right. You saw it in Japan. Mm -hmm. In the 1930s and 40s with Tojo. Yeah. You saw it in Libya yeah. with Omar Gaddafi. Yes. You saw in other areas of the Middle East, mm -hmm. Saddam. Yeah, that's true. Saddam Hussein. Hussein. You saw it. Yeah. But never in the history of America yep. have Satan rose up so strong. <laughs> that's right. In a politician. That's true. That's true. He rose up strong in religion. Yeah. And he rose up strong in false prophets. Right. But for the first time in the history of America, has Satan rose up so strong yeah. in a politician. That's right. That's right. Who hid behind the name Jesus. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Holding the Bible. Holding the Bible. Yes, he was. For pretense, make long prayers. That's right. That's right. And then Satan wanted everybody to know that Trump was his. Yeah. How? I'll move on religious leaders and put Trump's name in their mouth. Mm. And I would make them say the Lord said. The Lord said. One false prophet said the Lord spoke to me and said, Trump, the man from New York, is my servant, and he shall, he shall serve this second time. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, you forgot a tongue. Yeah. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> you, forgot forgot to end that. you forgot that. Forgot that. That's right. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's right. That's the devil out of hell. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Evil men. Evil men. And seducers. You've been duped. Shall wax worse and worse. You've been conned. Amen. 
Amen. And yet they claim that, oh, you know, these, these so-called Republican party. Oh, we are the calm party. We are the party that points you to Christ. <laughs> Y'all are just as violent. Yes, sir. Yeah. Many of you are nothing but pure thoroughbred bigots. That's right. Pure homegrown racists. That's right. Who use the scriptures as nothing but a front. You carry a book carry. you can't even understand. Amen. A book that you don't even respect. Yeah. You are liars. Lies. Lies. That's right. That's right. Think of it, viewers. It's something. This is the first time in America history yeah. that Satan got so deeply involved mm. that all this pro prophetic, all this prophecy is supposed to come about one person. Amen. And all of it oh, failed. Sure. All of it failed. This is what God wants you to see. Yeah. You may not like me for saying it, yeah. but God wants to open your eyes so you can see his will and what is not his, not will. his will. Face the fact. Yeah. God did not say it. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Kenneth Copeland, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Paula White, yes, sir. Pat Robinson, yes, sir. Yes, sir. all you other wall false prophets. Amen. Whether you mega or storefront. <laughs> That's right. I don't care what you are. No. God, God. did not say it. No. No. Let me show you how you would know a prophet. Give me the 12th chapter, if I'm correct, of the book of Numbers. Mm -hmm. Let's see how God would manifest yeah. himself, himself. That's right. in that prophet. That's right. Numbers come to mind, chapter 12. You know, Miriam and Aaron was Moses' brother and sister. Yeah. And they rose up and spake against Moses because he married an Ethiopian woman. Mm -hmm. They got so upset, they said, have not the Lord spoken by us? The Lord only spoken by Moses? Yeah. Did he not speak by us? The Bible said the Lord heard, the Lord heard it. it. All right, follow me. Now in Numbers chapter 12 and at verse 6. Glory to God. And he said, hear now my words. There it is. Yeah, that's, what, that's what gives me such joy. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. When you can hear God's word, That's right. God personalize it. That's right. Hear now my word. My word. If there be a prophet among you, if there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known I, unto him Lord, in a vision. Will make myself known to him in a vision, and will speak and unto I him in, in a dream. Speak to him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so who is faithful in all mine house. Yes. With him will I speak mouth to mouth. Yes. Even now, apparently. If something come to you in a vision yeah. and something come to you in a, dream, in a dream and yet you say it's the Lord mm -hmm. and yet it contradict the book and yeah. it don't come to pass. Yeah. I don't care if you dream, dream, dream. You better go back to the 23rd chapter back, of Jeremiah. Back in Jeremiah right chapter now, 23. I'm about to knock off. Amen. I got to knock off because Earl Ean and Cheesy about to get out of here. Back in Jeremiah 23 <laughs> come verse on, 25. Let's have I have heard what the prophet said. Yes. That prophesied lies in my name. <laughs> That prophesy lies in my name. Saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. All right, viewers. Amen. What he's reading about, some of you, it's your pastor. Yeah. What did he say? I have heard what the prophet said. You got false prophets all over social media, eyes closed tight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord, the Lord said it. Shaking your head. The <laughs> Lord said it. The Lord said it. That's right. I don't care if you close your eyes so tight when you open, you see white dots. Amen. This I have heard. Here. Oh, I have heard what the prophet said. God will for this to happen in the earth. My Lord. Glory to God. So the truth of God can come by God's permission and God use it to open your eyes so you can differentiate what is God, what is not. That's right. That's right. You can get mad at the program all you want. Yeah. Blessed are your eyes, Amen. for they see. That's right. You can get mad all you want, but you see it, don't you? That's right. Uh -huh. Come on, William. I have heard what the prophet said. I have heard what the prophet said. That prophesy lies in my name. Yes. Saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. I have dreamed. How long shall this be How in the heart of the prophet? How long shall this be in the heart of the prophet? That prophesy that lies. That prophesy lies. Yea, they are prophets they of the are deceit. prophets of the deceit. Of their own of heart. Of their own heart. Which think to cause my people. They think to cause my people. To forget my name. By their dreams. So, Amen. viewers, the devil sent these men and women yeah. and put Trump's name in their mouth so strong, yeah. you forgot all about the Lord. 
That's true. That's true. You forgot all about it. That's right. Walk around with Trump flags. For what? Amen. A flag with Trump name ain't no better than toilet paper. Amen. That's right. Did you hear the old man? That's right. A flag with Trump name have no value than toilet paper. No value. In fact, I believe toilet paper had more value. <laughs> That devil out of hell. Amen. What did he say? Which think to cause my people to forget my name. Yes. By their dream. By their dream. Which they tell every man to his neighbor. And all, and this is what they did. They went over social media with this. That's right. And all of you people that's following these international liars, yeah. you forgot all about scripture. Yeah. Or you probably didn't even know the scriptures. Yeah. You was too busy too following busy. some fool man or some blind woman. Who tricked you? That's right. And through the name Jesus walked around dramatic. The Lord said, the Lord said, he's going to do this. He's going to do this. He's going to do this. Shakala, la, 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 shakala, 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 la, 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 shakala, 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 la, 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 That's right. Go off in a tongue, sing it and speak it. That's right. Amen. I make mockery of the heathen. Make, make mockery. Villas! That's right. You may not like it. I don't care. Yeah. Face the fact. Yes. All of you that got a false prophet or false prophetess, man or woman, yes. that got up with that prophecy, mm -hmm. it was from the devil. That's right. So you're following a false prophet, a false prophetess, yeah. who are servants of the, servants devil, of the devil, who are liars. That's right. That's right. God ain't never said something in it don't and it fall to the ground. Amen. God said he gonna bring Israel out of Egypt. Yeah. Over that God that came, came out and everything that faced them, they conquered it. That's right. That's true. Red Sea had to separate. Yeah. Nothing could block it. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Nothing could block it. Pharaoh's army behind them, water in front of them. That's right. Moses, well, what are we gonna do? Wonderful. Stand still. That's right. Hallelujah. And see, and see. the salvation of God. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Red Sea opens up. Amen. What do you mean? Nothing stands in the way no. of God's true prophecy. No way. Nothing. Nothing. Amen. When that thing come from God, yes. nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God right. stands in the way. That's right. Of true prophecy. True yes, prophecy. sir. Hallelujah. Nothing do it. Nothing do it. I'm a witness. Yes. Nothing do it. That's right. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Nothing. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. God say a thing will be. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Do you hear? Back in Isaiah 55 and verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Be that come out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. It won't return. God talking. That's right. It won't return unto me void. But it but shall accomplish. No, maybe. It shall accomplish. Uh, a, little, a little glitch here and there. But it shall accomplish that which I please. If that prophecy is of God. Amen. I should not have to come back and say, wait a minute, I, I misunderstood the prophet. <laughs> no, prophecy. No. I was misinformed. I mean, what was it? The frequency wasn't clear? Amen. Was it static in the voice? That's right. That's right. Why don't you men and women stop playing with God? Amen. You said the Lord said something yeah. that he didn't say. He didn't say. You got to repent. Come out of your pulpits. Yeah. Because God willed this to the public. Mm -hmm. So the public can see yeah. who he's using and who he's not. That's right. What is that? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Yes. It shall not return unto me void. It shall not return unto me void. But, but it, it shall, shall accomplish. What he said is going to accomplish what? That which I please. <laughs> Amen. That which I please. And it shall prosper. It shall prosper. In the thing whereto in I the sin it. thing whereunto I. I sin it. Sin it. Amen. 
Not with Paula White sent it. <laughs> no. She was trying to send it from Africa. <laughs> That's right. And from South America and from Puerto Rico. That's right. Amen. God wasn't sending it from there. No. Not mm. from where Kenneth Copeland was trying to send it. No. Amen. You people follow anything because of the color of some people's skin. That's true. That's the problem with many of you. That's a man true. ain't of God because he's white, and a man is not of the devil because he's black. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That thing got to please God. Please. When God says what there? But it shall accomplish, it shall accomplish that which I please. That which I please. And it shall prosper. And it shall, it's going to prosper. In the thing where to. In the thing where to. I sent it. Amen. That's plain, isn't it? Oh, yes. Remember the message, viewers. But evil men and seducers. Evil men. Amen. And seducers. I pray that this is a lesson. To all you so-called religious people yeah. who get head over heels about some politician. Listen, yeah. not even black folk got that crazy about uh, Barack. That's true. That's true. That's true. You know, many folks, people of color and many whites was crying and happy yeah. because they received the first black press. Oh, they was happy. Oh, yeah. All the news all of a sudden changed their tone. Look <laughs> at them standing up there. Stand up there in a city that was built by slaves. You ain't you haven't even heard that before. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is a sick society. Yeah. Think of it, oh, yes. viewers. Politicians must get on board with God. That's right. The people of God That's right. should never get on board with the politician no. if he's against God. Amen. No one said, what is your political views, Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. My political views is holy. holy. Holiness That's right. govern my political decision. Yeah. Holiness govern my political involvement. Amen. That's right. Do you vote? Holiness <laughs> govern my vote. Amen. To the degree... Wonderful. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't. No, I didn't do it. Amen. I want to say, well, no, I didn't. You voted for Biden. I thought, I thought you voted for Biden. No. No. But Miss Harris is the first black vice president. I ain't voting for your color. I got black That's suits. Right. That's good. That's good. That's good. I don't care about your color. Your color don't mean nothing to me. That's right. You're born of a woman, you will die. Yes, you will. Worms will feast upon thee. That's right. Black don't make you right. White don't make you wrong. White don't make you righteous. That's right. Being black don't make you a Satanist. Satanist. That's right. You got to be holy. Amen. That's what you got to be, Bill. Got to be. Holy. Holy. If you men and women was holy. You wouldn't try to invade the Capitol. <laughs> no. Out there with bombs and guns and molly cocktails and all these weaponry. Don't you know the holy says the weapon of our warfare not is carnal. not carnal? Not carnal. You see, even though the Constitution, what is that, the Fifth Amendment, that allow you to carry weapons, bear arms? Second. Well, second. what is the Second, second Amendment? Second Amendment. Beg your pardon. The Second Amendment allow you to bear arms? Yeah. Well... Our amendment says the weapon of our warfare is not carnal. Not carnal. Not carnal. See the word of God. You see what I mean? That's right. Holiness preach against us carrying weapons. For the weapons of our warfare. Here, chapter verse. Second Corinthians chapter ten and verse four. And you liars to my you as Christians. Some of y'all down there with guns and bombs. <laughs> what was you gonna do? Bomb the Capitol mm. to make the politicians accept you? Yeah. Are you that big of a fool? Yeah. I'm surprised at the fool. That's right. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. I want to say, well, wait a minute. What about the scripture that says in the book of Ecclesiastes, third chapter, there's a time to kill. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It is a time to kill. Yeah. But I got, 
I got to balance it gotta out. Balance Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 3. I was about to quit. Amen. I was about to quit. Give me the third chapter of Ecclesiastes. And, we'll and start then you better give me the New Testament, the weapon of our warfare. Right. And let's make this harmonized. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, we'll start at verse 1. Yes. To everything there is a season uh -huh. and a time to every purpose under the heaven. All right. And then why it comes to my mind, once you finish that, before you give me the New Testament over there, but you better give me, I believe, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, where the commandments was given that what thou should not do. Right. This is after what they would have permitted to do. Right. All right. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose My mind under the heaven. Congested with Bible. Yeah. To everything. To everything there is a time there is, and, and a, a season. That's right. Uh -huh. A time to be born. Time to be born. And a time to die. Time to die. A time to plant. Time to plant. And a time to pluck up that time which is planted. Time to pluck up what's planted. A time to kill. Time to kill. And a time to what heal. What about that, Pastor Janice? If you're against the Second Amendment, what about that? I agree. There's a time to kill. Now I got to break that down because there's a natural form of killing. Blessed be the great God of heaven. And there's a spiritual kind of killing. Old Testament says it's a time to kill. And here come the boss coming on the scene, which is Jesus, who was God manifested in the flesh and began to preach what Moses declared by God's permission. Thou shall not, not kill. kill. Yeah. But wait a minute, Pastor Jesus, that's a contradiction. It says it's a time to kill. Yeah. That's right. But Jesus said, thou should not kill. Thou knowest the command. Now listen, 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 listen. Now in the book of St. Mark chapter 10 and at verse 19. And why I come to mind, I want to show them how long are we killed. Right. How many days, how long That's right. is our death taking place? That's right. <laughs> you see, I got to break this stuff to pieces here. All right, you murderers, you get this. St. Mark chapter 10, we're at verse 19. Walk around here with 38, 45 German Lugas, guns with scopes, talking about my Second Amendment rights. And you claim you represent Christ, you represent the devil. Right. Hear the old troublemaker now, That's you right. represent the devil. Devil. Yes. All right. Mark, uh, Mark chapter 10 and verse 19. Mark, uh, Mark. Mark chapter 10 and verse 19. Yeah, get it out. Mark chapter 10 and verse 19. I don't want someone to think someone got a gun on you about to shoot you. <laughs> kind, of fro kind of froze up on you there. That goes for anybody here that got guns at home. Yeah. Hey, man, got your 38 and 45. I had to laugh years ago on Frankfurt Avenue. There was an old man who passed on. We call him Brother Matt. I was preaching against carrying weapons. He threw his hand up. He said, Pastor, I asked you a question. I said, yes. He said, is anything wrong with hunting? I said, no, you can hunt. Nimrod was a mighty hunter before the Lord. He said, how about can I hunt with a 38? <laughs> I, I told him, I've never heard no one hunting with a 38. And I told him, I'll just make sure that you're hunting to eat. <laughs> That's right. So not, you know, you got people that are like uh, predators and they hunt you for sport. Yeah. I mean, kill human kill life for sport. That's right. It's just how sick society is. That's right. All right. That's uh, Mark chapter 10 and verse 19. All right, come on, William. Thou knowest the commandments. Don't you? Hey, viewers. <laughs> do you know the commandment? Do not commit adultery. Don't commit adultery. Do not kill. Don't kill. Do not steal. Don't kill. Do not kill. Don't kill. Do not steal. And don't kill. That's right. I'm working on killing. That's and right. yet what did Solomon say in Ecclesiastes chapter 3? And verse 3, a time to kill. And what did Jesus say? Do not kill. And what did Solomon say? A time to kill. And what did Jesus say? Do not kill. Who are you going to obey now? That's right. That's right. Eh? Amen. You claim you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. Who are you going to obey? Amen. Amen. Um, well, which one is right? Both. Right. Both. Wonderful. Both are right. That's right. Why? Because all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. Oh, yeah. like, Solomon was inspired to say a time, a time to, kill. to kill. And Jesus come along and said, thou shalt not. Do not kill. Amen. So now God got to come and send someone Preach between it. the prophets and between the apostles and Go make ahead, the prophets man. and the apostles harmonize. That's right. All right. Now, when Solomon said there's a time to kill time in to the kill. Old Testament, you'll see many battles took place. Yeah. Many wars took place until yeah. the Bible said there shall be wars and rumors of wars. Now, that's the physical war where you go out there, take up arms and whatnot, but God's people don't take up arms to take another person's life. That's why it says thou shall not kill. Not kill. All right. Now, when it says there's a time 
time to kill. Time to kill. Now there is a time that God justify you in killing. That's right. But the one that must be killed is yourself. That's right. And the one that will kill you is the scripture. Now in the book of Romans now chapter 8. Now I want to show you how long does this death take? Romans chapter 8 and at verse 36. All right. As it is written. It's written. For thy sake. For thy sake. We are killed all the day long. Wait a minute. What happened? We are killed all the day long. So there's a time to kill. A time to kill. Amen. So that's why you're watching this program. This is the killing program. <laughs> that's right. The killing program. That's Amen. right. Amen. We come along and kill you. And we got weapons. We yes. do. We got a sword. Yes. We get the word of God. And we got an axe. Got an axe. And when you get a real stubborn, it turns to a hammer. <laughs> That's right. Or it's a God and break the rocks in pieces. That's right. Eh? That's and right. when you try to get away, it ignites you. It sets you on fire. <laughs> Amen. It consume everything in you. That's not like God. That's right. And if you really think you get away, it floods you out like water. That's right. Glory Go to ahead. God. For thy sake. For thine sake. We are killed all Hallelujah. of the day long. Let's it be God you killed. All the day long. So Amen. a time to kill. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the Old Testament, they were justified and going out there and war and all that. But here comes the law of God being laid down the days of Moses. That's right. Why you think whenever Israel broke out the fight, there was no warriors taken out of the tribe of Levi. That's right. The Levitical priesthood stayed out of war. Yeah. Stayed out of battle. That's right. Why? Their job was to give attendance, at glory, take God to the altar. That's right. Ah! That's right. That's the name. And here we are, the church. The Bible calls us a royal priesthood. Royal priesthood. Our job is to give. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Our job is to give attendance to at our self being a sacrifice at the altar. That's right. Not to get the Hallelujah. natural weapons that take another person's life, but to get the spiritual weapon so you can take a person. In life, what do you mean? Take away their sinful life, That's which right. changed their life. That's Swap right. lives That's from right. an unholy life to a holy life. That's right. Kill the unholy life. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like in the Old Testament, when a man lied with his own kind, he was to be stoned. He's stoned. You kill him. Yeah. Well, I can't kill you now physically mm -hmm. with, by getting a natural stone. That's right. So now I gotta kill you with the word of God. That's right. When you lie with a man, I gotta come along and stone. Stone you with scripture. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. We come along and stone you. Amen. With scripture. And how long does the killing take place? We are killed you? all the day long. How long? All the day long. Evil men. And seducers. What I have. Shall wax worse and worse. What going to happen to them, William? Deceiving and being deceived. And what should true believers do? But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. And? And hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. You continue in the things of God. That's right. So you don't be seduced. That's right. Tricked. Amen. Become spiritually unhinged. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then someone in power manipulate you. Right. I'm telling you what happened on that Wednesday. Maybe think of the 13th chapter Revelation. of Revelation because yeah. they haven't been fulfilled yet. That's right. Because when the beast come, yep. the whole earth, whole, whole earth that don't serve God yeah. is going to go after him. That's right. That's right. Trump had a beast spirit. Yeah. He had a seducing spirit. Seducing spirit. He bewitched you. Yeah. And I have to say about you so-called Christians about, and let's close out third chapter, mm -hmm. book of Galatia. Amen. Let's talk to the church. Yes. The Bible says, yes. oh, foolish. Galatians. Galatians. Who has bewitched you? Who bewitched you? That ye should not obey the truth. You're a Christian? Why did you go down there and storm that government building? Amen. Who told you? Who motivated you? Who motivated you? Other than that devil when you're serving Trump. That's right. Foolish. You foolish. foolish. Oh, foolish American. Who has bewitched you? Oh, foolish you? Republican. <laughs> That's right. Oh, foolish man and foolish woman, foolish boy, foolish girl. Who has you bewitched parents, you? parents, you jeopardize the safety of your own wives and your own sons and daughters. That's true. That's true. And look at, look at the control that uh, Trump have over the followers. Yeah. The moment he got over and said, go home. That's right. <laughs> That's right. They start disbanding like robots. Amen. Go home. Go home. That's really something. <laughs> really something. You never thought of this, did you, viewers? Amen. 
you will be bewitched. Oh, foolish Galatians. You have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth. Before God allowed mm -hmm. this to happen. Yeah. To manifest his word in the earth. Oh, yeah. The devil used all these men and women to prophesy something that God ain't never said. That's right. And he did that to open the eyes of the believer so the believer can see that God's word is true. Amen. And to enlighten the unbeliever yeah. to teach you how God don't behave. That's right. Acts 2 38 says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right. It's Amen. time now. It's time now. Right now. Right now. Glory to God. And I mean right now. That's right. They get on God's side. That's right. Be sorry. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Be sorry about your sins. Give up. That's give right. up. Give over. Get right. That's it. Right. Repent. And be baptized. Do what? And be baptized. Who? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, what? For the remission of sins. All right. You that are here that haven't obeyed this, you might as well stop being a fool. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Get yourself right with God. Yeah. Anybody want to be right? Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Stand on your feet today if you want it. Stand up. Yeah. Stand up if you want it. Wonderful. Yeah. All right, you that are standing, come to the front. Wonderful. Come to the front. Come right over there where they are to my right. Wonderful. You that are standing, come right up there to my right. Such as will lead you up. Glory to God. Amen. This is a soul searching message. Oh, yes. Human family, check yourself out now. Yeah. Come on back. Yes. Next webcast will be at 5 o'clock, God willing. Let me say this to all of you that are here. Then we'll go back to our regular time of service. Uh, we won't have the 11 o'clock session. We'll go back to the regular time starting this Sunday coming. There won't be three service. We'll go back to the two. Amen. Amen. We'll go back to the two. So that way you come on now. You're here for the one o'clock session anyway. That's right. So you might as well just get ready now. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Just come on. If you, if you want to come on early still, you can. The doors will be open. Wonderful. The doors will be open early in the morning. You can come right down and get on your knees and pray. Yeah. Amen. 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 The doors will still be open early as if it was going to be an 11 o'clock session. The brothers know when you come here, doors open early the moment you come. Wonderful. I don't care if it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Open them up. Amen. And you come on in here and pray. Not get in here and play music. Get on your knees and pray. Yeah. Seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost that you may make the resurrection yes. when the Lord comes. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Let us all stand. Minister Dan Thompson will close us out in prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, we do thank you again for your kindnesses and your tender mercies, O oh God, that you've shown towards us. We thank you for this day and for all your blessings, O oh God. We ask you to continue to bless the viewers and the saints of God everywhere, that they'll take heed and good heed to thy word. And, O oh God, repent of their sins and be baptized in your name before it's eternally too late. O oh God, remember the sick and the afflicted everywhere, and bless your word as it goes forth in the future. These things we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.